The game is called Hentai vs Evil, and the obvious question is why? The answer probably isn't going to be very positive, but let's find out. I'm not big into PC indie games, but I've heard of the term asset flip, where someone gets an engine like Unity, throws in some pre-made assets, gets something up and running, and calls it a finished game. Now, I'm not saying hentai versus evil is definitely an asset flip, as I don't have the proof. Although I do think I actually found the level package used in this game's pirate level on the Unity store. What I'm saying is hentai versus evil is very probably an asset flip. I'm inclined to agree with you, dodgy kebab. Now look, on one hand, everyone has to start somewhere. No one gets into games creation and knocks up Resident Evil 7 on their first day. There's a long learning process and you're going to make some real crap in your first few attempts. But at least put some bloody effort in because absolutely none at all has gone into this game. So the idea here is that you're an anime girl, you have a gun and you must kill 12 Grim Reapers to be able to unlock a cage that contains another anime girl to feed finish the level. Before we get onto the sloppy controls, let's talk about the most obvious part. What? What the fuck? So, okay, so you're an anime girl, but why are there zombies in a different art style to your character? Why are there orcs in this game? Why are they a different art style to the main character and the zombies? Why am I in a low poly art style town? Okay, it matches the zombies, but then what the fuck have orcs got to do with any of this? But then why even bother shooting at the orcs or the zombies when the only mission objective is to kill 12 Grim Reapers? And why are the Grim Reapers a different art style to every Everything else. If it was just low poly zombies in a low poly landscape, at least the visual style would make some sort of sense. But whoever East Asia soft are, they just said fuck it. Just throw any old bollocks in there. Who gives a shit? So the first level is called Small Town and it's basically South Park in the summer months. The next level is called Pirate Bay, which is very apt considering the questionable quality on display here. So now you're running through some sort of pirate land and the zombies have different clothes on. The orcs don't know, and neither do the Grim. Reapers, and this is one of the things that stinks to me of unaltered store-bought assets. The mission is the same, kill 12 Grim Reapers. The final level, because thankfully there's only three levels, is called The City. Now you're running around a city and the zombies have changed clothes again, but the orcs and reapers remain the same. Once again, you have the extremely well thought out task of killing 12 reapers. These reapers that you have to kill 12 of in each level haven't had a lot of work gone into their animal animation. When you do kill one, it starts to spaz out on the floor like no one actually knew how to make it stop moving. My eyes are burning. Mobs have a tendency to spawn directly behind you at any given moment. This wouldn't be so bad if you had some sort of tracker in the game, but there isn't one. And the first you'll know about a mob spawning behind you is when it attacks. And when it does attack, although the camera locks onto the mob, the crosshair doesn't have any sort of lock on function and you end up flailing around trying to quickly take out this arsehole that just crept up on you. All of the weapons outside of the machine gun are hopeless and even with the machine gun you're going to want to collect the ammo boxes for a temporary increase in bullet damage but hope to god that they actually spawn in a place where you can collect them and not like here where it's spawned in an out of bounds area. The guns are shit, the mobs are shit and the jump your character has is this pointless fucking hop in the air which can't jump over anything in the game. The graphics are random crap just thrown together. There are only three levels, the objective is literally the same on each level kill 12 reapers which makes the other mobs almost redundant all this and they want eight pound for this utter garbage but the thing i find most ridiculous is that this game not only has trophies but offers a platinum too but virtua fighter 5 ultimate showdown which is a fantastic remaster of a sega classic fighting game only counts as a budget title so it only offers you a gold as its highest trophy how the fuck does that work. Hentai vs Evil is one of the worst games on the PS4, but not because it uses unmodified store assets. This could have quite easily been made into some sort of Smash TV clone. Beef up the guns, remove the infinite ammo, more guns around the stage, remove the reapers and orcs, crank up the number of zombies and turn this into a score attack game. Okay, it wouldn't have set the world on fire, but it would make this a middle of the road sort of game rather than the utter wank we have on display. I've got no 
problem with store assets, but so long as people actually try to make something decent with them. Whoever made this didn't even try, and it just seems that it just threw a few assets together and hoped some mugs would buy the game because it says hentai in the title. That's a thought. There wasn't even any bloody hentai in this game. Thanks for watching, guys. A like, subscribe, and comment are very much appreciated. Plus, if you like what you saw, here are some links on the screen now to some of my other videos that I've made that you might like.